What's up y'all, it's Teacher, and today we're opening Paradox Rift, the new TCG set, and this one has the Paradox Pokemon. Let's go through them real quick. So if I remember correctly, the previous set had the other two Ruinous Pokemon. This one has Wo Xian and Chi Yu and some such as Iron Moth and the rest of the Paradox Pokemon. Look at Iron Bundle here. You can't even tell it's not a normal deli bird. It's like they intended that with its artwork. Look, there's a terrestrialized electric Mewtwo. All right, let's scroll to the bottom. We'll save it for the actual box. So the secret rares. We have a bunch of new illustration cards. Who cares about Crustle? Even though that looks good. Even Dottler looks good. Who did this? Who drew this? Oh, Toad Scroll we have to get. That Iron Moth looks insane. Bro, they did that on purpose because of the fake entry that it's a UFO. Plusle and Minum are linked artworks. That Brute Bonnet is some actual LSD. This is like what Brute Bonnet does when you get near. You just start to hallucinate before you even get close to it. And then the full arts. There's some Terrasalized Pokemon. There's a fighting type Terrasto Hoopa. And then for the trainer cards, we've got Larry, Norman. I need freaking Sada. All right, that's our goal. We're getting Sada. All right, we're getting Sada. And then the bad luck is going to be Tulip. She freaks me out. And then last but not least, the golden cards. Holy, there's a Terrastal Water Guard Chomp, the two Super Paradoxes, and then some other crap. Forget this, we're opening it. So, you know, I do wonder something with this set, right? How much does the card game get from official Pokemon? Like, what kind of information are they told? Because we'll wait till we pull one of the paradoxes, but there's something written on the cards. So we'll wait till we pull the paradox for me to talk about it. Dude, this is crazy. All right, we can do this. I've been practicing. And I... Oh, frick. I haven't been practicing. How could I practice this? There it is. Look how great that is. 36 packs. It looks like nine. So on the covers, we've got the Terrasto Water Garchomp, of course. Then we have the two Super Paradoxes. And then Armor Rouge of all the things. All right, we're saving Armor Rouge for last because he's poo poo. We're opening these. So the big goal is to get these paradoxes. The, the phone is even higher now. I can't even see. Hey, yo, what was our luck? Frick, does this leak it? Our luck last time was to just spread him, right? Are you ready, my dudes? We've got Vanillite, Charcadet. Hey, he's like the Charlos one with Magma. Magma Punch? That sounds crazy compared to Fire Punch. Swablu with its blind wound. Pansier Coffer family. <laughs> Tatsugiri, the rare dragon type. Uh, Vanillux, Defiance Vest. Golbat, Garbodor giving me the thing. What the frick? And a, is that a Rattata? Like, he's the master of all the sewer Pokemon. Oh, Zekrom. Okay. But that, that's gotta be a good luck star. Until this ends up being the thing we pull like 22 times. All right, I don't know if I can wait till we pull a paradox to talk about this. So the big theory with the paradoxes right now, which we're going to find out in a month and a half. Open up Valiant. Is whether they're an imagination Pokemon or really from the past and future. But when you look at these uh, cards, it has something written on it. We got Wismer, Dewblade, Surskit, like it freaking can float on the pond. Magby. Earth? Oh my goodness. Look! Wait, what the frick is this? Alright, this is like... This is like what's on... Chu Yang, Frick Ting Liu. Is it? Kinda looks like it. That's the crap right there. We'll talk about it more. Medical Energy. Steeny. Joltik. Deoxys, another... Oh, baby! Golden Ghoul. Golden Ghoul, the most... Holy, did you see that? Why does it have to reflect like that? The suckers, he's actually made of gold. Do you hear that? Coin bonus, make it rain. This man is straight out of Mario. Of all the ideas people could have told Pokemon for what to do for their 1,000th Pokemon, only Game Freak would come up with that. Like, if it was me, I would have made some reference to some older Pokemon, like maybe a Persian evolution, since it always has the coins. But leave it to Game Freak. These suckers just introduced a new one. It actually turned out pretty good. Bounce Sweet. He gave me the side eye, side eye Phoebus. This is gonna look constipated. What is that? Freaking A Palm, Galvantula. Wow, Cyclizard. Cyclizard is pretty sick, man. Simiseer. <laughs> that ain't the fish eye, bro. This man, this man looks like that. Defiance Vest. 
What did I say about this lady? Espatra. That lady was my reverse? Okay. Leave it to Pokia to have a move called Price Count. God of Space. So yeah, the Paradox Pokemon have it written. Have Ancient and Future written on them. So did these guys get like any kind of notice from Pokemon to know if they're a lot? You saw me open this. Look, I did not scrunch the cor- I bet you something good's in this. All right, we got Phoebus, Constipation, <laughs> Pansage, <laughs> Mantike, <laughs> Professor Sada's Vitality. Didn't help her, she died. I'll put you right over there. Give me good luck. That's my good luck. Tatsugiri with Dondonzo. Dondonzo. Loudred. Blipbug. Aegis Aeg Slush. It's the freaking. So the Paradox Pokemon have ancient and future written on them. It almost sounds like they really are from the past and future, right? Because think about it. Once the game, once the Indigo Disc, I cannot open these. Once the Indigo Disc comes out, and we know the Paradox Pokemon, let's say our imagination Pokemon, then how weird is it that all these have past and future written on them? It's almost like it's wrong. Whoa! Wiglet, Gliger, a b they freaking infected the apples. That's how big a blip bug head is? The size of like six apples laid out? He's like as long as the door. That's screwed up. <laughs> Boy, Coco taking shelter. Whatever that crap is. Technical machine turbo energized. Oh. Wug Trio. Tinkatuff. Zubat? Volcanion's in this. What the hell? I didn't even show you this. Damn, Volcanion. I just got the sense of a Mega Volcanion coming in Kalos Remix. That doesn't sound impossible. You think they take notes from like the movie? You know the movie gave Volcanion some role with Magirna. You think they would ever kind of try to bring a reference to that? Maybe make an event in game involving Volcanion and Magirna? Alright, take this so I don't forget. Mantike. Pansage. Minen. Oh, I need to get the illustration arts. This sucker! I made fun of him so much in BGSP and him specifically. Of all the other regions is in here. Simapore, Durant, Gliger. Yes, sir. Iron Moth, we got one and now we can talk about it. Look at this future. So let's say the Paradox Pokemon are all fake. Cause remember, they're called Paradoxes. Then why would it have freaking future written here? You know? Is Screamtail in this? Cause that's the main Paradox I want. Damn, I get the feeling it's not. All right, next pack, I'm gonna spread it. You ready? But, you know, there is one answer to why it would have past and future written, which is that it's just the themes, right? Past themed and future themed, which is why Sada, where is she? Where's my freaking good luck Sada? Great. Never mind. Okay. I'm not spreading it without my good luck. We got Gabite, Minan, Mantike, Ga- What the frick is this? Is this even a- You! We take a moment. We take a moment. And then we leave it. And this is this is a way to get good luck. You think I'm kidding? Veluza. Chantel, you're alright. Amber Pump. Simis. Why? I told you. I told you. Peerless. I'm peers with no tulip. Look at this baby. How even isn't Aegis slash a real Pokemon? There needs to be a past one which explain. Which explains this man being in like another body. You know? Like, what if he was an actual soldier, and then the actual soldier died, so he got stuck in the weapon, and then they evolved to be in weapons? Where's my good luck tulip? So yeah, it could be themes, right? That's why it says ancient written on Sada's card. She's not from the past. So it could still work, even if they are imagination Pokemon. I've just been thinking about it recently, you know, why they are called paradoxes. And I know I have my theory, which is that freaking complicated dragon palace crap. Ooh, knuckle stack. Which kind of gives an alternate explanation of why they could be called paradoxes. Look at this man. Is that thing shiny? Why is it like that? Bur burst of braying? <laughs> is, he, is he a blood praying? The burst of braying. Alright, Crocolore. Ambipom. Knackle Stack. Vanillux. Tinglu. Tinglu, you're from the previous. T Tinglu's in this one too? I'll take it. But yeah, I've been recently thinking a lot about whether they could really turn out to be Magician Pokemon. I'm kind of... I'm starting to feel like they really could be. You know, to make a plot twist, they'd have to tell us what's wrong first. 
So they've told us that they're from the past and future, which means they could plot twist and say they're imagination ones. A flamigo, Porygon in a dollhouse, or a Corio Toad School. They should make a Toad School Mario enemy. Damn. Absol, Simmer Sage, Tandem Mouse, Countless. Wow! Tandem Mouse! Dude! This thing is the. The nom 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 and scissors? <laughs> Hey, this thing's one of the artwork cards. Look at that. And it's an EX card. Just casually EX cards are back. Hey, look at look what it's called. Paradox Rift. Like a rift from the past and future. You cannot be imaginations. You cannot be. Are right, we going to spread this one? Okay, remember the magic of spreading last time? Spread. Oh! Baby, look at the glow on this baby. I'm not spreading anymore. The power! It's too powerful! Look at this terrestrialized. Looks like he's got a top hat on. It looks like he's performing. And he sings. This sucker terrestrialized into a normal type. Right? Is that normal or steel? Not dumbass, that's a steel type. Unless he's not as dumbass as we thought. What else we got? Luxurious cape is one of the secret rares. Wait, scream! What the f- you telling me the one time I spread it, there's goods? Bounce sweet, freaking... The, look, the same order, guys. The side eye Phoebus, and then the constipated ape bomb. Galvantula. Look at this. Wait, okay. Oh, you are the future card. Okay. See, future booster energy. See, it, it's just themed. It doesn't necessarily have to be from the future. Screamtail. My favorite of all time. I can't believe Screamtail's my favorite paradox. Like, I, I actually hate Jigglypuff. Can you read that? There's been only one reported sighting of this Pokemon. It resembles a mysterious creature depicted in an old expedition journal. Wow, even the cards are referencing that weird Paldian forest. Which is from the Occulture books, but those should all be made up. But yeah, the other paradox that Scarlet and Violet would have to answer is how the other paradoxes exist in the same game. Dude, there's a lot of fun stuff that could come out of this DLC. But there's also the very high chance that not all of it is delivered, you know? Yeah, it's the Stormlax doll. Tink a ton. I had a Stormlax behind me. Durant. Toad school. The sucker. It has it can grant any wish. What a crazy Pokemon. Chi Yu, the mega fire of envy. So I now have two of them. Alright, my next target is the Plusal or Minum. Or, of course, any of the Paradoxes, but we're aiming for those. I've also misplaced my lucky Tulip that I riffed. Hopefully, I can pull another one. Alright, Mantike, Pansage. Oh, you're kind of good, man, man, whatever that is, Snow Run. Iron Bundle, look, we got it. There are only two reported sightings of this Pokemon. They're straight from the journals. The Cursed... <laughs> the Cursed Duster? <laughs> Aegis Slash. Oh, reverse constipation. What the hell are you doing in this? Do you see the code? There's a Brave Blade? That should have been a move that's just like Brave Bird. Zacian's a fraud, guys. I mean, you'll find it in due time, but Zacian and Summon Center are both frauds. They've got blood on their hands. Hey, Trubbish. The, let's see if this thing proves that Trubbish is a good Pokemon. Its favorite places are unsanitary ones. If you leave trash lying around, you could even find one of these Pokemon living in your room. Okay, that's not what I wanted to hear. Crustle. Onyx. Fl I forgot this thing even existed. Flittle. It's like a fake Pokemon. Earthen Vessel. Dude, that is the Tingyu crap. Look at that. But it looks so different on Tinglu. Like he got it mossy green. And also... With different patterns on it. I don't know what's going on with that. Medical energy. Steeny. Flamigo. Horsey. How is this man in this set right now? Oh yeah, there's also the resemblance with the dream catcher that I recently covered. I think the idea that it's... The, the idea I was uh, putting forward in that video, since it looks like the dream catcher, is that it's kind of catching the dreams of everyone in Paldia. And so when it granted Sodom Toro the Paradox Pokemon they wanted to see, it's cause it's it's kind of like a spirit bomb. You know, it gets its power by taking a bit from everyone. It makes it this like extreme wish Pokemon. Knackle Stack, Plusle, Dottler. I sent it. It's in this. Orbeetle? 
Is this a ladybug? Oh, goodness. Cloth. <laughs> uh, Dwebo. Nagli. <gasps> My goodness. This thing is glorious. Okay, so cover the camera. The Pokemon are all made up. They're from the imagination. Does this card still make sense? Ancient Roaring Moon. It does. It still works. Frick, you win this one. But yeah, so a dream catcher catches everyone's dreams and then just lets the good ones pass through to the people. So that means it can it also contains all the bad dreams, which would perfectly explain how we get that heat drawing to come out. I mean, I put some thought into it before coming with that theory, but I still want it to be legit past and future Pokemon, man. Nightly, Nimble, Yamask, Gliscor, Absol, Simisage, Mela. <gasps> it's been years. Artillery, Kingdra, okay. All right, let's talk about something else. So if the Indigo Disc comes out December 14, then we got Pokemon Day just two months later. After how long we've been holding on to Scarlet and Violet, would we really just scrap it and like move on to the next games? I almost feel like it can't be Unova next. Just because they have to give us more time. It feels like we should get another let's go here. Yes, sir! Who scrunched the corner? It wasn't me. Wait, what the frick is this? Swablu, you came with... Yo, the... these aren't... Sw what are you doing with the Wingles? It's trying to blend in. This is crazy. We got one of them. I don't know who came up with these illustration cards, but this is it. It's a bit too weird to think that like this time next year, we are knee deep in Unova Remix, whatever that means. Sounds more like we're due for the poopoo -poo year. Y'all remember the last poopoo -poo year? Waiting for trailers of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, hoping for something interesting. When deep down we knew there would be nothing. I think there was that one trailer which showed blue and red in, what is it, the oscilloscope or something? And we thought, dude, how interesting. There might be plot changes. There's nothing. All right, Spinda. A scared Tinka Tink. It's like in a Sableye cave. Uh, Tandem Mouse. Dwebble. Norman. Earthworm. That's, that's not good. You see this? It's staring at you, hiding when you're going in the forest. What does it say? It coils its ten tentacles around preys and sucks out their nutrients, causing the prey pain. I thought this was Pokemon. Don't talk about pain. Ooh. Hey, it's got an ability called Lifeboat. Dude, my Lodic is one of the greatest Pokemon of all time. How has it not been revisited? How does this not have like an ancient form? It sounds like we're in the wrong timeline. At least give it a custom G Max or something. A custom Z move. Now I'm not even like up to date with the Z moves. A bunch of Pokemon did technically get revisits that way. Like Miu got Genesis Supernova. That's the only one I know. But those don't count, okay? I don't know why they don't count, but they don't. In some way, they don't count. Trubbish. Crustle, it just looked weird. Flittle. Flittle? It's really been called Flittle this whole time? Onyx. No, we can't. There's only one cursed card. I can't keep changing it. Mine, you are. Simapur, you've been spared, Rourke. Absol! Woshien. And the corner's bent again. I, di I didn't do those. Like, you can see. I'm taking them out of the box. Is Woshien's corner bent too? Oh, thank goodness it's not. Because we all care about Wo Xian. Actually, check it out. Now I've gathered three hollows of them. Now all I'm missing is Shen Pao. Aren't you excited for the subplot of us finding Shen Pao? I'm most excited. I can't wait for it. It's definitely in this. Watch, watch, watch. It's in this, okay? So we do this. And then this is the energy card. And this is Shen Pao. So be very careful. Okay. You ready? Whismer. The Blade, Surskit, Magby, oh, my favorite, Screamtail, Technical Machine, Devolution? There's freaking Devolution in the TCG? Whoa! That kind of looks sick. Earthen Vessel, okay, you ready? How do I pick this up? 
I don't... Humans aren't able to pick up like... It's just gonna have to stay there. I'm opening the next pack. I can't pick it up. But we all know Ting Lu's there. I'll get in a second. Okay, give me some time to think of a, a plan of how to get it. Alright. Nick it. Knackly. Nimble. I don't hate Nimble. Yamask. Zipstrika. The Pregnant Crocolore. Amber Pump. Devo. Light Pump. Yes, sir! Iron Jugulus. You know, this, this artwork isn't actually bad for it. Hey. It's like the, the thing is smudged down there. It's possible that Iron Jugulus, an object described in an old book, may actually be this Pokemon. So in this artwork, you can kind of see that its hands aren't connected. Ooh. Bro, this is actually more badass in your imagination than it is in games. It could send out its hands to chase you. Like homing missiles. Or like independent Pokemon. That's actually kind of cool. Well, I'm out of plastics. Oh yeah, these. Good luck cup for the year. That's so stupid. You don't get a plastic. That's the fourth one. I'm freaking pissed. The subplot comes to an end. And it turned out to be a curse sub. Ooh, this one is so heavy. I can't even lift it. It's so heavy. Alright, we're getting this... This illustration art. I can't believe Shen Power is actually kissing my table like that. That's so stupid. Oh my goodness. Spinda. Tinka Tink. Tandem Mouse. Dwebble. Snorlax doll. Woo! Tinka Ton. Durant. Manti. Why? I just screamed so freaking loud. Why? In the... Shut up, prize count. This is the rarest thing in the world. It's a gold card. Guys, the gold cards are, are the, the rarest thing in existence. I can't believe this. It's like I've got the Willy Wonka ticket. What the frick? I thought I... Are you telling me Chim Pao didn't take my luck? Sucker, Chi Yu, give me your plastic. Sucker, you don't deserve to go be with Chin Pao. This is insane. Boys, this is one of the best booster boxes I've opened. Triple stars. And gold stars. Look at this Pokia. It's got one black star. Bro, there's nowhere to go but down now. What else even is there? Let's see. Ooh, there's an illustration cyclizer. Look. The Salamence is literally at the end here. And the Salamence is my f the one I wanted out of all of these. Alright, this is what we have to go for. We have to go for this Sada. Wow, this man looks kind of badass. What does he do? <gasps> He's investigating. He's making stuff. F it. Sada. You have a knife? Oh, it's a... Sada's still what we want. Damn, she's like actually researching. Who the frick is this parasol lady? <laughs> Why? <laughs> she's kind of cool. Oh my god, guys, if I pull this tulip, I will rip it in front of you. And you will hate me for it, but I'll still do it. Alright, so we have to pull that Sada or this Sada. There's two full art secret rare Sadas. That's what's next on the list. Bro, we got the Salamence. We're, look, it's still bent. I don't know how. Flamigo, Porygon, Orcorio, Totsko, Melo. Hey, Slitherwing. This guy's like in a snowstorm or something. Gorgeist, Rourke, Toad Scroll, Steelix. You guys, you think it'd be cool if Pokemon, well, we're done over half, if they teased the next games in a Pokemon from the previous game? So, like, let's say in Galar, there was a Paradox Pokemon. You know, it even had, maybe it didn't have a Paradox name, but, and it had like a real name like Karate and Maridon, but there was a Paradox, you know, to hint the next generation. And then the same thing in Scarlet and Violet to hint the, the Gen 9 games. I mean, obviously it'd be cool, but Game Freak doesn't... I thought I took it out of the plastic for a reason. Game Freak doesn't plan that far ahead for a reason. I mean, to an extent, they actually do plan that ahead. But they don't show their hand like that. 
Just in case I guess they want to change things up or scrap ideas. I guess that's what it is. It's so they can scrap it if need be. Not that they would scrap the whole concept of paradoxes. I mean, I guess they would. They freaking scrap Pokemon Z. They could scrap anything. Charcadet. Swablu. Pansier. Norman. Orthorn. Toadscroll. Swablu. Guys, did I catch that freaking Ching Pao thing on tape? Or was it off screen? Because sometimes I move the cards up here. Whatever. If I caught it, I caught it. If I didn't, who cares? This one's heavier. You know, it's weird. When it comes to, like, the first Pokemon packs, that whole weighted thing is real. Like, people sell heavy weighted packs of the basic because it's it's pretty much guaranteed to have a hollow. It's funny they didn't think of that. Wiglet. Gligar. Bounce Sweet. Phoebus. Scream Tail. Devolution. Explode. Gimme Go. It's in this. Tinka Tink. I'm getting tired of these. Hey, you know what we should get to piss off Pokemon fans? Let's get Let's Go Johto next year. <laughs> so that's 2024. And then in 2025, let's get Let's Go Johto DLC. That'll keep the Pokemon fans happy. Could you imagine they do that? And it's the Kanto DLC. Like, it's just poo poo. But it's DLC. Wow. Evelto. Yes. Whoa. It's Terrasalize as a water type. It's got a texture on this. Can you guys see that texture? I mean, I do like the stuff with Let's Go in the sense that they limit all the features back to that generation. So like, Let's Go Kanto having no items and all that. But I think it's, it's more worse than it is good, you know? I don't think serving the nostalgia makes it cooler. I think they get one point for nostalgia and then like 10 point reduction. Mianfu, Ferrocid, how have I not gone this? Where even is it? Cyclist. I swear I recognize this background like some street I just walked by. Professor Toro scenario. Damn, we got the Toro. That means good luck is among us. Mianshao. Yo! Who the frick is behind? Who the frick? How many? Hey, Galissapod. Bro, this is the best booster box I've opened. It's miners falling to the ground, but don't they only fall after they get that core crap on them? This is the form when its shell has fallen off. The color of its core depends on the materials I made up the food today. Alright, Saka Woshen, you're losing your plastic. I don't know pack openings could be this good. I've been getting mad unlucky all these openings. Well, at least the last two openings are mad unlucky. Damn, we're almost out of pack still. I swear, it doesn't feel like I've opened that many. Look, I'm just staring at Tulip over there. I swear if she pops up. I kind of want her to pop up just so I can rip in her front of you guys. Apom, Galvantula, Mantike. Mayim. So is this dude, like, hanging out in fall under a tree and zapping the leaves because he's bored? That's kind of badass. Mela, Slitherwing, Gorgeist, Purloin, Phoebus. Oi. Hey. So you know how it says Phoebus, I mean, it's how it says Magikarp, you know, used to be a really strong Pokemon. How would you feel if, well, we might be done with Paradoxes, but if in some way they, they reveal what Magikarp looked like back then, and it kind of looks like a Phoebus too, to kind of hint that Milotic and Gyarados kind of are cousins, you know, they, they kind of work the same way. I think that'd be cool. That means in a weird way, Phoebus kind of is a regional Magikarp. But more removed than that, but kind of. Gibble. I mean, the way the two Pokemon work, you would imagine they, they pretty much are like cousins. Oh, it was Rika. We got it again. Here we go. Ultra luck is upon us. Wimpot. Crusso. Yes. That's good enough for me. Brute bonded. He's like, he's going to protect us. He put up a shield. Tell me it's not BS that this sucker somehow inspired the Pokeball. Like, that has to be made out of someone's ass. Not the Pokeball, the, that idea. I mean, yes, I guess technically something could have inspired the Pokeball. Why can't Voltorb inspire the Pokeball? Voltorb, even in ancient days, looks like a Pokeball, an apricorn, something, right? The creator of the Pokeball should have just looked at Voltorb. Pantsage, Snorun, Knacklestack. We have to find that Minum. What if these connect too? Tatsugiri. 
Vanillix. Defiance Vest. Porygon. Blitz. How are you in this? Goodness, Doku Taro. We didn't even speak about him. All right, what are we hunting? Yo, I want that Iron Hands. This is so stupid. Is he flying? Oh my god, I think he's freaking flying. Or I guess he could be hopping. But look, he's he's been doing this. The sucker has no life. These are ancient ruins. They should be treated with respect. These are our last packs. We've got like five packs left. And you had to go and do that. This is what I'm hunting. I want this Iron Hands or Sada. It's been decided. Or, or no, we can't spread it. We can't spread it. Phoebus, Apa, Pansage. Did you see again the the side bombastic guy Phoebus and then constipated Apa? I gotta speak to the printing people. Crocolore. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. Good luck. Let's see how I can rip it. So we're gonna try to be a bit more exact with this one. This is the thing, right? Ain't Tulip the same age as Dendra? Frick. Top of Coco. <laughs> now that's a really rare card. I'm pretty sure. You see, now we've got the Holy Trinity. We've got the legendary Sada Luck. We've got the Sada Luck, the Turo Luck, and the Tulip Luck. Oh yeah, these. So we've got Snorunt, Parasol Lady, Zatu. Alright, we are down to the final five packs. Let's see if we can pull that Iron Hands or Sada. I do think that would have been cool if they hid like one more Parox for each version in the DLC. They, they still could. I'm just going off whatever the data mine is telling us. I mean, aside from the, the big legendary ones, you know? Because when it comes to the legendaries, we, we're now expecting the other members of the trio. But to actually blow our- Wait, whoa! It's working, Tulip! Okay, we're stack Look, Garganak. Who's bending my cards? Do you see that? All right, Garganak was a big one, but I swear I got this man in a previous opening. Oh, and I guess that's asking for too much. One thing they shouldn't have done is gave that Suicune away as a freebie. You know, if you're not going to make Raikou available, Raikou and Kobalion available in the first DLC, they could have done that whole trio thing quite differently to make it more exciting. Minan, where is it? Where's my plus up? Frick! Now I gotta get the plusle again. Dewblade, Mill Tank, Hydro Splash, Chantel, Garbodor. Van Look who's who's bending these. Vanillish. Like they, they they came bent in the box. Mill. Wow. Is there freaking every legendary in this opening? Hey, look, boys. Here's Lupus. What's your name? Here's Lotus riding a Latios. Ah, it's like a it's a JoJo scene. The final three packs. We're saving Valiant for last, and we're doing you first since I did you last last time. Come on, give me that tulip. Give me that tulip so I can make what I desire. Look, it's bent, guys. I just I opened them out of this. How could they be? I can sue them. I'm suing them right now. How are they bent? I'm not even doing it. And I mishandle cards. I like it. Tinker tough. Trubbish. Crustle. Tactical Machine. Iron Bundle. Techno Raider. What the frick? Here's the here's Lotus riding Thievo. I mean my desk is a mess. I've got a floating lotus. I mean tulip. Who 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 names their daughter Tulip? Is your name Tulip? If your name is Tulip, show me proof your name is Tulip. I'll give you some. I'll give you freaking Tulip. And then if you're the second person named Tulip, you're getting that. Alright. Um, Roaring Moon. Here we go. Last two packs, guys. I don't know how we're already down 36. They probably only put 20 packs in this crap. These suckers. Look, I, how much you want to bet the last card's been here too? Wimpot. Plus, oh, where's the mining? How does it keep disappearing? How does it keep disappearing from the pile here? It's freaking Tulip. She's taking them away. Here we go. Mining. No. Mining. Alright, now we see. And they are completely unconnected. I worked so hard putting that together. Tandem Mouse. What the? Yo, your leg's so exposed. 
He's got some vigor in his dancing. Tactical machine. Durant. Ooh, slithering. Knackley. Norman. Hey! I where's my knife? Here's Tulip. Tulip, I'm sparing you once. You know what? This is what we're leading up to. Alright? Only one pack remains. Only one opportunity for Tulip remains. Are you ready, Tulip and Tulip? Tulip A and Tulip B? First off, is it mishandled? It is. The corner's freaking bent. Alright, Tulip, show yourself. Onyx. Hey, it's all coming together. We're assembling Exodia. Alright, move. We got Nicket. We got Nackley. The Counter Catcher. Masquerade. Ancient Booster. And you could use this Tulip. Alright, you can have that. See. Whoa! Tulip! You can have that too, Tulip. I don't want that. This thing looks insane. Whose freaking room is this? Look at that freaking Porygon Z cap in the background. Dude, this dude's a master collector. It's like Tulip in here. Dude's got like figures on the walls. Some crazy computer with Pikachu stickers. Man's got some futuristic keyboard. He's got like Wii cables. This is the sickest card. This card is amazing. A guitar? Tulip, you into all this? All right, y'all, I'm gonna call it quits here. Make sure I'll shank that like button. Tulip has been spared. I mean, the real Tulip. If you guys shank like right now, I'll eat this Tulip. It's me, Tulip. Oh, you shanked? I'm gonna like die in four days if I swallow this. Not because it's paper, it's because it's Tulip. All right, I hope y'all enjoyed. I'll see y'all when the next set releases on this date here. Take care.